What is going on guys? It's your boy Phantom J back in the building. How y'all doing? Today I got a super special video for all of you guys. First off, I want to start it by saying thank you for everybody who sent me questions in the comments and straight to my DMs. Thank you so much. So without further ado, let's get into the Phantom J Q and A. So guys, before I get started, I just have to let you know that there's going to be a lot of background noise. I'm outside of my house right now and there's a lot going on basically but i'm gonna try to make it as clear as possible and answer everybody's questions so just bear with me okay guys so first question do you enjoy cooking yes i love cooking it's my way of showing my own individual skill you understand i feel like i get to enjoy cooking because i get to be myself when i cook and i get to see how people enjoy my own style when are you gonna sell your own brand of sauce now this is something that i plan to do very soon guys i have made up a barbecue sauce recipe but it's just not done yet and i want to sell it as soon as i finish it once i feel like it's done then i'm starting to sell it so phantom mob get ready for take out the money what's your fave food and why christmas ham reason being i love pork and christmas ham is my favorite dish because of how uh, I'm not gonna say how much time it takes to prepare it, but really the essence of the flavors that I get from it You understand guys is really something great and I love it I don't know if it's the same for you if you guys love um, Christmas ham drop it in the comments and let's see how much of us love ham to uh, Are you planning on opening your own restaurant? Yes, I am I'm giving myself some time, you know get to understand the whole workforce industry I want to see what it's like running a restaurant, cooking a restaurant, overall everything that has to do with it. So I'm going to give myself a few more years and then I'm going to open my own restaurant. Probably something small, you know, but then, you know, hit the big time once I really understand what's going on. And I have something already started, you know, making myself some income. Uh, let's see, what's next? How... How long have you been a chef? I've been a chef for almost four years now, guys. And that's not even including how long I spend in school. I've been working at different hotels and such and I stopped at this nice restaurant that I really love. I'm not going to say their name really right now because, you know, certain restaurants have policies against their staff doing certain things like that. But the restaurant people them follow my videos so they know themselves. Big up to all that who work with me. And, you know, on to the next question. Sorry about that background noise again, guys. Really sorry, but I hope you can still hear me. How long? My mistake. What made you become a chef? If I gotta be honest, what made me become a chef was my overall love for food. I've loved food since I was younger and growing up, honestly, I've never really seen much for me and my family to really connect with besides cooking. My mom always cooked for me and to be honest, we used to love the cooking channel and it was something that really just clicked with me. I loved food, my mom loved food, my family loves food. So why not find a career that has to do with food? You understand? Work, it was something like work with what I'm strong with. You understand? Work with what you love. Once you love what you do, you're not really working. You get me? Next question. If it wasn't cooking, what would it be? Okay, that's a good question. I'm not sure, but I'd probably say it's either I'd be a lawyer or I'd be doing something with animals. You know how I'm cooking animals right now? <laughs> Overall, I would just be either probably a veterinarian or a zoologist or I'd be a lawyer. No real reason behind them. Really, the lawyer one, no real reason behind it. I guess it's a good career. But the zoology thing is mainly because I love animals. If you guys want to know my favorite animal, just me we tell them in the comments, all right? Uh, next question. Largest group you fed at a time. Okay, largest group I fed at a time. When I was working at a certain hotel, I had to feed the entire um, hotel at this beach party. So I'd say that was roughly around 300 people. So I'd say 300 people was the largest group I've ever fed at the time. What's your fave thing about cooking? Individuality. I love that I can be myself when I'm cooking. Nobody can take the cooking away from me. It's my way of freely being myself. You understand? I get to really showcase my own skill. 
I mean, when it comes down to being in a kitchen, you're part of a team. But end of the day, you're showing off your own skills, whether you're just cutting up vegetables, whether you're putting something on fire, whether you're grilling something, whether you're making salads. Every position is important because everybody has their own skill set. And believe me, once you can show your own skills when you're in a team, that really shows that you're a very skilled and very, how can I say this, resourceful chef. Next question. Has there ever been a time where you hated cooking or you wanted to quit cooking? Yes, guys. I am going to be very honest. There was one point in school that I hated cooking. And really, it was when I was going to college and I was studying culinary arts. Reason being, it took so much mental effort as well as physical effort just to cook back then that I hated it so much because I thought cooking was actually easy. But then that shows you when it comes on to a career choice that you want, it's not really going to be as easy as you think. But I'm glad I pushed through because honestly, I've never been a quitter. And if you guys saw my motivational video, quitting is like a disease. And I didn't want to catch that disease. So I decided that, yo, I'm not quitting. I started this and I'm going to finish it. You understand? So next question on the agenda, single or taken? Guys, I am single. Still single. <laughs> uh, not that I don't want to be with somebody, but I'm waiting to find the right girl who... I really feel like you actually go last with. It doesn't make sense I get into a relationship with somebody who I feel like I go break up with within a month. You understand? What are your views on marriage? Honestly, I view it as a very, a very big step in a couple's life. Not everybody is ready for it, which is why you see a lot of divorces out there. In my honest opinion, I don't believe everybody go find out that they're all ready for marriage at the same time. Like, a couple who start last year go know this year. They almost know this year. It's really all about what you two believe in. You understand? You can't rush something that is such a critical point in life overall. Because you're sharing your life with somebody. You're no longer going to be one person. You're going to be that couple. You understand? But that's just how I view it. If you view it differently, let me know in the comments. Next up. What are your views on the protests that are going on? Guys, all I'm really going to say on the whole protest thing is that it really opened everybody else's eyes because we thought that racism was going away. Guys, it never left. It's still here. And we as mankind need to realize that somebody's color doesn't define that person. It doesn't mean that they're dangerous. It doesn't mean that they're less than anybody. Everybody matters. No one person is, is more than the other regardless of them color them class or anything at all next question what is your middle name guys my middle name is emmanuel with an i kind of like the biblical emmanuel just spell it with an i are you high maintenance no honestly okay i know the person that asked me this question and no i'm not high maintenance your idea of a good date um to be honest, it depends on the persons. Not everybody is going to be into the high class scene and not everybody is going to be into the simple scene. But for me, I like things romantic, but at the same time, I like things simple. I find that if you say, go out on a nice walk on the beach, then get a picnic. Both, you can get the food from a favorite restaurant and you both eat and talk. And then at the end of the date, you guys get to watch the sunset. I feel like that is a good date. I'm not saying that's my ideal date, but in my own opinion, I just I just say that a good date is just one where you both enjoy the company that you have. Next question. Do you fight? Uh, not really. I'm not exactly a violent person, but if you mess with somebody who I care about, like a friend or a family member, me, go fight you. Yeah. Me defend my people, I'm so just some easy. You understand, guys? Uh, next question. After a breakup, do you prefer being a being alone or being with friends? I'm gonna be honest. I prefer being with friends. Reason being, there's a special group of friends, my dirty friend them, who when I'm really not in the mood to be around people, they alone can make me laugh like they alone can make me forget about it in that time span even if it just happened if i'm around them i probably won't even feel it because of how them stay 
Like, you know, when you have them one set of friends that you know, say, you care tree, bring around your family member them, but you know you love their own, those are my friends. Yeah, definitely be around those friends. Uh, next question kissing or cuddling? Both guys, come on now. Like, you do one without the other? Well, then again, it depends on the place, but <laughs> if I had to say, I'm not gonna choose either one, I'm gonna say both. Uh, what are your aspirations in life? Now, that is a good question. If I had to be honest, I'd say that it's not to get rich for the purpose of just having money so I never have to worry about anything. It's to have enough money so that everybody I care about doesn't have to worry about anything. Friends and family. Thing is... I don't think I'm going to be the person who go buy him friends, Ferraris, buy him mother, this big mansion, all them thing there. <laughs> Excuse me. But I feel like I'm going to be that person who, end of the day, if you going through something, you go link me because I'm going to be that friend who go say, yo, what do you need? What can I get? When can I get it? When you need it? You understand? I'm, I want to be that person who helps out. Like, my friends know that, well, not all my friends, but... <laughs> Most of my friends know that when it comes on to if they need something and I know they don't have it, I'm going to try to get it for them if it's the case that I can get it for them. If you want a food, then we get your food. If you need something for your work, we get that. Like, I want to be able to help my friends. So it's just how my kind of program, I understand. My kind of grow up mean, so I just want, I guess it's just my way of trying to be a good person in my, uh, in my adult life, I guess. You understand, guys? Um, next question. Describe yourself in one sentence. Okay, this is my question. If I had to describe myself in one sentence, I would say... Jeff for the faint of heart. Oh, wait, I said my name. <laughs> Phantom isn't for the faint of heart. Reason I say this is because, guys, I'm going to be real with you. Not... Every and anybody can be my friend. And not because I keep a small circle or not because I'm this or that. Really, it's because it takes a special kind of mental stability to be able to manage my madness. You understand? Every, diff every friend group I have sees me in a different way. And to be honest, all of them more well with said they can't bother with me. Reason being, I just some mistake. I am an insane force of nature <laughs> i mean when i'm ready i am your best friend but if i feel i give trouble you can't stand me and every friend i have can attest to that one <laughs> so next question how long are you planning to do your channel um i'm planning to do the channel for a while guys like overall i want to show you guys different dishes that are super easy to make at home and can be completely awesome for when you have friends over or just when you want something good to eat you know so I think I'm going to have the channel all throughout my new career. Uh, let's see. What pushed you to start your channel? Boredom. Absolute boredom. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. A lot of people start their YouTube channel so they want to get famous, so they want to make money, or just because they feel like it'll be, I don't know, this or that. To be honest, I really just started it out of sheer boredom. Uh, when are we gonna kill you on Smash Brothers on your channel? Okay, guys, these are my squad parties who basically just I try show me up in my video. Yo, when all are ready, we got it. We got games room, and we can find out who go kill who. Guys, I'm just bluffing. Tell the god truth. I'm the worst out of all of us at the game, so I'm definitely gonna get killed. But me just attack hard. You understand? Uh, next question. When will there be more anime content? There's going to be anime content soon, guys. Uh, getting anime content, cutting it and editing it all is taking time and I'm trying to balance it with my other videos. So I'm going to put out some anime content soon. Just bear with me, okay? Uh, last question. Would you prefer feet as hands or hands as feet? Hands as feet, guys. Like, that's not even a, that's not even a question. Uh, yeah, anything ever fall from you and you just feel like... You have to take it up, but you just don't want to bend down and take it up. I use my feet and take up stuff. Not like food or anything. I mean like pens or probably a piece of paper. Just stuff that 
I can take up with my foot. Like I'm just gonna curl my toes and take it up. Like that's just how I stay. And honestly, if I had hands, it'd be a whole lot easier. So feet, I'd say hands as feet. Sorry about that. But that was the last question. So much thanks to everybody who sent in your questions. I hope I answered as many as possible. If you feel like you didn't get an answer in, just shoot me a comment or hit me up in the DMs with another question and I will be sure to add it in my next Q&A. Uh, and that is pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys liked that video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit that bell to get notified next time I drop the next banger video. Guys, I'm honestly surprised. I expected more questions about food, but you guys wanted to know about me, so you got to know about me. I'm a great person. Who wouldn't want to get, know, get to know me? Ha. But still, honestly, I appreciate everybody who sent me questions in the DMs and in the comments. Big up to all of know. And also, guys, if you feel like you didn't get to ask a certain question that you wanted answered, just drop it in the comments now, and next q and I'll definitely answer. Hope you guys are staying safe. Hope you guys are doing good. Get up, live up, stay up, and big up on the self, Phantom Mob. Peace out. I make them disappear just like Harry Houdini, even in my lyrics.